This is a common thing that I get from all the little mean children that watch me. First of all, uh, I've also learned that you like me insulting you, so you make me sick. And I hope that you choke on a piece of plastic like a turtle. And much like a turtle, no one rescues you. And you wash up on a beach somewhere, <laughs> you're all dehydrated, and then someone sells you at a souvenir store. Anyway, if you like that, make sure that you like the video. Uh, but this is a question that I get a lot, which is, hey, Jordan, I've got a Q, and my Q is for you. Well, you've come to the right place. Thank you very much, sad little loner. So what, 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 what can I help you out with? And then they always say something like, I am an old man. I'm 22, but I feel like I'm 17. What's wrong with me, Geordies? Why haven't I turned into a man yet? And you're really asking the wrong person because look at me, I'm still wearing kids' clothes from Kmart. I am an older man child than you. So take an advice from your elder. Yeah? These are kind of like those neck beards that are on Reddit that are like, you've got no idea. I've been here for 10 years and I've seen the entire landscape change. I am a king of wasting my life. So, my advice to you, peewee dipshit, is <laughs> I'm just gonna call you that for an hour, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking to you specifically. I know who you are. Just don't ask me to name your name or your date of birth or anything about you at all. I'm talking directly to you, though. Uh, I want you to know that that is a result of modernity. This is one of these things where I will say that it actually isn't your fault. That effect of kind of missing these marks. There is a reason that in all ancient to medieval to actually just culture right up until the 50s, I guess, always had as part of their culture these sort of initiation moments into being a man. And same thing with a woman. Uh, but I'm just going to focus on this because there's a lot of man babies that contact me, right? And so the man babies, what you would be learned to know, I don't know, fuck, it's late. Everyone's always saying how tired I look on this channel, and fair enough, but you just got to realise, like, most of my life I'm just sitting there reading about policy, and then at some point I just think, oh, fuck, I've got to put up videos for that. And so I'm just going this tired haze of four hours sleep, being like, uh, yeah, why is the camera quality so shit? Well, it's about the same reflection of my eye quality at the moment. That's how I see you at the moment, how you see me. And anyway, uh, yes, so there are initiation processes to move away from the major moments of your life. This is why in church, there's that kind of ritual that you have when you're like even a seven year old and then it moves into marriage and that's another initiation, right? Okay, so there's one way of looking, uh, well, actually, no, we'll talk about it now. When you propose to someone, what's going on there as a man? Well, you fucked yourself, haven't you? No man on earth likes proposing. In fact, I remember reading in this book, The Truth, I think it was. It's a brilliant book. You should check it out. It's by Neil Strauss, the guy that wrote the game. But I think The Truth is a nice bookend. It gives you a whole picture of everything, right? So from picking up chicks to a relationship, it just covers it all. But he mentions this one point where he was saying that everyone that ever goes and tries to select a ring is always dreading it. Yeah? So he, when he went out and selected his, and because he'd done all of this deep soul searching, he's so much more sophisticated than everyone else. And I actually do believe that. I think he is. He spent a lot of time researching relationships and just testing it all out. But he went in to Proud's The Jewelers of America, probably just called Prad The Jewelers of America. Wow, that was very original. And so he walks in and he selects his ring. And then the woman says, you're awful chirpy. And he says, why isn't everyone? And she said, no. Every man that is ever selecting a ring is miserable. And why is that? Because in their mind, that represents commitment. Now, in the woman's mind, that represents, yay, party I don't have to pay for. But for the guy, it's just like, all right, well, there's a very high chance that this is going to end in divorce and I'll just fuck myself and I'm only doing this because I am trying to make the woman happy. But this is kind of the initiation of being a man. Yeah, A lot of being a man, I think anyway, is kind of just stoically taking the brunt. What is a child? Someone that chucks a lot of tantrums. When you're two, how many tantrums do you chuck? This is when you're just barely conscious. And as soon as you just understand that the world just doesn't in like as soon as you're even conscious of the world, you're like, this doesn't fit what I want in the world. Ah. Yeah? 
So I think that becoming an adult, obviously, is just less and less and less of those tantrums. And more and more and more of just grinning and bearing things and being like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I think that that is part of being mature. That is part of it. And so I think that that is one of the symbols of a wedding for a man. It's kind of just like this idea of, yes, the commitment is there of like, and because it goes back to family connection days, it's also this thing of I am going to marry into this land and we're going to put this land together and I'm going to better my family. There was a lot riding on it. One way of looking at it, another way of looking at it is it's just like it's a great celebration and it's like, you know, it's, it's an idea of people unioning into one another. But we're just talking about the man side of it, right? There is a point in there which is kind of just like you're a man at that point. Or like there's more of you that is a man. Anyway, why is that still culturally moved on even in this day where everybody's just trying to get rid of all cultural conventions and just create this i, I don't know <laughs> what what is the, i don't know i don't know they're just yeah fuck it all and then we'll all just dance around in the woods Hippish! but that's what it did yeah it was kind of just this like hey you're this old now you have to be doing this it was this slap in the face of rise and shine you're more mature at this point when it comes to that 18-year-old initiation phase, this is what a lot of 18-year-olds face, including myself. And then I read it in this book, and I can't even remember what the culture was now, but I'm assuming that it was, I'm pretty sure it was Nords. Ancient Nords from back in the day, they used to do this thing where guys, 18-year-old boys, would just be in long houses, and there would be embers in the center of the long house, and they would be sleeping on the sides, and there'd just be a bunch of 18-year-old boys, 18 to 20, I think, so you could stay in there for a couple of years if you wanted to. And you'd just be lying down on a bunch of uh, bear rugs in medieval Europe. So it would have just been so appealing, obviously. Because it just would have been cold as shit outside. And you were always fed. There was always water coming in. And you kind of just sat there as a stroppy teenager at the end of your teenage years doing nothing. Nothing for a year. Nothing for two years sometimes. And then when you emerged, you were a man. What were you doing? You were mourning, as they were saying, you were mourning the death of your childhood. Now, why was it extremely necessary? Because obviously Viking life would have been horrendous. It would have been a successful pirating voyage if, you know, a third of the boats didn't sink <laughs> in the middle of Arctic freezing temperatures with a bunch of sea monsters at the bottom. And then when you got to the other side, there'd obviously be a bunch of people defending themselves. So, you know, if, if half of you came back, it would have been great. Being a man was horrible. And now being a man, it's just as horrible with Reed Shadow Legend. And I do actually think that that is almost as torturous as getting stabbed in the ribs playing that game. It sucks. But uh, next week I'm going to be sponsored by them. But that was their initiation into being a man. And then you see ones like, what was it? I think it was Papua New Guinea. You know when they just go off that really dangerous pointed log thing and then they bungee jump onto the ground with vine and they smack themselves in the face and a lot of them break their necks? That was another initiation into manhood. It was a danger element to it. But all of these things, if you're thinking about it, really what they're doing is this kind of, you're old enough to do this, ding, 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 reminder, you are now at this stage of maturity. In the modern world, all of this has been taken away. What has been replaced with it? Endlessly playing video games. You're in this permanent stasis, aren't you? That's what social media has done. It's kind of just like technology sort of slowly moves along, but you don't really notice your day-to-day -day life. In fact, most of your consciousness is just in here right now. I'm really doing myself a favor by just telling you to switch off all the time, aren't I? But you are watching this and life just kind of moves on. And you're sort of aging, but you're not really sure about it. And, you know, like just all these events and ideas are just put in front of you and it is replacing experiences. Experiences are something else that makes you mature, obviously. So going back to the wedding thing, even if your wedding ends in a divorce, obviously that can make you an extremely bitter human being if you look at it that way. If you don't look at it that way, what's happened in that? You've experienced a roller coaster of emotions. You've committed, first off, that's awesome. But the second thing is that what you've also done, and this is truly amazing, is once that, that happens, like can you imagine the heartache and the, the stress of that? 
A lot of people say that a divorce is worse, worse than you know, being in hospital with one of those like immovable diseases for a long time or being in a coma or something like that. Like the strain of that on the human psyche because it's just this endless bitter resentment where you could lose everything and you're fighting someone that you used to love. It's, it's a horrible, horrible place to be. But at the end of it, what happens? More maturity. That is a life experience that happens. Hmm. So what have we learned here? This is how you get ahead. Because you will probably notice, actually, that a lot of Christians don't have this same problem. A lot of Christians, because they're just kind of taught in this culture of like, yay, congratulations, you're seven. Oh, now you're 14. Now you're getting married. There's all these stages in life. You go to the funeral. There's, they're, they're all, the, like, the chapters are there. They're just like, okay, that was chapter one. Here's chapter two. Chapter three. That's happening to them. I don't have any answers for you. <laughs> But I'm just trying to explain to you why you feel like you're a mean child and why you, you, you feel like you're a lot younger than you actually are. It is because the development, those development points of maturity have passed by. They don't exist. So you're just this flailing spirit in the wind going wherever it takes you. And this is the whole sad thing about society, which is that if you kind of just infantilize people, if you say that you, like, you make life just too easy for people, that is the result that happens. You have people that are in a permanent stasis of being an adolescent. And again, I cannot talk. I am a product of our environment like the rest of us. But I do think that that is a massive reason. The other one, obviously, being housing affordability. But I think that another reason that our generation is just not having kids. And I think that's the end of life after Gen Z. There just won't be any humans after that. But it's because you're just not reaching the stages. You're not getting this reminder in your head that, no, you're this old now. You should be doing this. That's gone. There's none of that social pressure anymore. I think that that is a huge reason in these declining birth rates. And again, can't talk. Anyway, if you like that, make sure that you sign up to Jordan Shanks where I actually do have answers that I can give you answers for because this is kind of just a societal problem. And uh, Sorry, this doesn't really belong here on Jordan Shanks at all. <laughs> well, you just asked. Sorry, sometimes a lot of the time when I do these videos, well, not a lot of the time, very rarely because I do have very high opinions of myself and how much advice I actually do have to offer. But <laughs> And you, I've got even more and you really should be paying for it because it is pre stuff at Jordan Shakes. If you do not, you are doing yourself a disservice. On you, on you, we're all just going to have a great time and we're all going to succeed together, all right? And you're out here just getting all the free information. But whatever, if you want to do that, that's fine. Um, yeah, anyway. Sometimes I think that all I can do is just give you uh, a, a little psychological snapshot of it so you at least identify the problem because this is the first problem point, yeah? Like at least identify that that's what's happened. Like a lot of these cultural institutions have been eroded away and a lot of those things were to kind of just symbolize to people that this is your stage of your life and you need to start thinking about these things gone i don't know what the answer to that is in fact we were talking about it on the neil podcast there's a bit of shout out for it there check out neil and jordan sign up to jordan shanks and if you don't sign up to jordan shanks not only will you be a man child for the rest of your life but you'll be a poor man child and you won't be a spiritually fulfilled man child either and i do actually think that i do think that you will be getting some spiritual fulfillment if you sign up to that obviously i'd say that wouldn't i 